A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, we will learn the use of the right side column page template, as shown in the video. In addition to demonstrating this template, we will use a couple of plugins to enhance the appearance of our application page. Let's get started. First, download source code from video description. Open right column page template folder. For this exercise, you have to create this table named demo underscore task with some seed data. This is a SQL script, in which first query creates this table. The remaining are the insert statements to create some seed data for testing purpose. Upload and run the script using the SQL script option. As you can see that all statements processed successfully with zero errors. Now let's check this table and its related data in object browser. Now open your application. Create a new page. Select Interactive Report option. On the Page Definition Wizard screen, provide suitable names for report and form pages. Include form page. Keep form page mode attribute to normal value. On the Data Source screen, Set source type to table, and select demo task table. On the next screen, set primary key column to ID. Open the form page in Page Designer. Click the root node and set its page template property to right side column. Now, add a breadcrumb region to the form page, then set the following attributes. We added this breadcrumb region to the form page to easily move between report and form pages. Move the four page buttons, save, cancel, delete, and create, to the breadcrumb region by setting region property of these buttons to infotech tasks. Also set button position property of these buttons to edit. Click the form region under content body, and change its template from standard to blank with attributes. Go to shared components. Click the list option. Create a static list named more actions with the following values. Since we are going through page template example, I'm not setting targets for these list items.
Add a new region to the form page and set the following properties for this region. As you select the position for this region, a new right column node will be added to the rendering section. Add one more region and set the following attributes. This region will show the more actions list you created previously. Go to Shared Components. Click Plugins option. Import the Mini Calendar plugin from Right Column Page Template folder. The plugin displays a small calendar with the specified date highlighted. Add a new region to the page under the Actions region and set the following attributes. In this example, with the help of this region, we are going to display end date column from the demo task table. Copy and paste this query. Replace these two cross signs with your page number. In this step, we will use another plugin named Post It Note. This is a region plugin and it is used to show a note in the style of a post it or sticky note. It helps you to show static text or text from a query in a pre defined format, for viewing in a post it styled note on the page. Create a new region under the content body node and set the following attributes. This region will hold a sticky note at runtime, in which we will show contents from task description and start date columns in the demo task table in the current scenario. Replace these two cross signs with your page number as we did previously. Save your work. Go to Reports page, and run the page. This is our report page. If you want to create a new task, Click the Create button on this page. Select any record to see the form page. This is our form page. This column on the left side holds the task end date, which matches the task closing date on the right side column. The start date column on the left side, matches the date in the post-it note we added. 
On the right side column this is the runtime view of the static list we created named more actions. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more videos like this. Thank you for watching.